we're still working on the budget. Uh, we did discuss raising uh, rental fees from fifty to a hundred dollars uh, for rental property in the city of Dayton, and I guess we will have to. Uh, I guess I'll make a motion that we go up an ordinance for that. The motion's been made. Anyone like to second it? Second. Motion's been made. Second. Any comments? Need to have roll call, please. Member Gifford? Aye. Member Hurd? Aye. Member Burns? Aye. Member Bolter? Aye. Member Bruski? Aye. Member Allen? Aye. Do anything else? Oh, no. Do you think we're going to need a finance meeting in between next month since we need to have a budget passed? Yep. 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 We spent an hour and a half just talking mm -hmm. around today right. when we're not here done. Yeah. yeah, let Michael try to set that up. Get the date that we're going to all work out and get the, uh, <coughs> the uh, reports from the fire department. And when does the rest of the council get involved? So they know what's going on before we bring to a vote. We need to do it soon because the budget is going to be If we're going to have a special meeting, why don't we just have the whole special meeting with the council? You're going to have it on the 20th? That's election day, and I don't care. But that's fine with me. That's fine with me. I don't have the right. Okay, right. Make it on the 20th? 7 o'clock. We'll get to decide if we're going to have it first. Yeah, I can make it. Where would like to have that meeting? Why not try the BFW? I'm More sure. seating anyway. I'm sure they'd let us. We'll ask. I already did. You already asked them about the 20th meeting? No. I okay. told them if we can have meetings up there, and they should very well call. Oh, you did tell them? Public Safety <laughs> River. Candidate tonight. Walter? <clears throat> um, nothing. So we did have a meeting last week, and we looked at the issue with the um, fifth and O'Fallon and tried to come up with the best alternative to have a safe exit and, um, with, um, without having to have the... Um, whole design reconfigured by the developers. So I'm hopeful, hoping that the um, Terrace Street option works for everybody. So, that's it. Public Works Member Allen? Yeah, I just have one. Uh, I talked to Don about this. There's a, some people around 818 8, 8, 8, 6th Street and 818 6th Street. 18 4th Street, they have a telephone pole where the trees across the alley, uh, they're growing up over the alley around the telephone pole to the uh, telephone wires. And uh, they're very concerned about that. They asked me to ask the city if we could help them out. I thought if we still have that bucket on the truck, is that what it is? We could call the phone company and see if they want to trim it. Whatever we can do. Give me that address. Yes, I okay. Eight eighteen. Yeah. <coughs> uh, it, it comes across the alley from, I guess, the Seventh Street side. Don, you remember that? And then it goes up the pole and then over the wires. It's it, it pretty bad. Wire, okay. Right, but it starts across the alley. It, it goes from this tree across the alley up down the pole up. Looks like a jungle, actually. I thought maybe if Rick, of course he's not here tonight, to, to get that bucket, he might be able to trim those things in the alley on the pole. They might die. We'll take a look at Yeah, well, whatever. I just, and that's all I have on that. Later on, I'll have something else. Parks and Real Estate, Member Burns. Uh, Park Board had a meeting last night. We tended, uh, they have a tentative date for the movie night uh, down the park. is. July 26. They need a lot of input from the citizens because it's very costly. They're trying to work out a way to get some volunteers, maybe from the Eagles and stuff. The uh, final date for Psalm Fest, last year we had a Psalm Fest, it was a kids' fest, uh, is September the 20th. And also, uh, Rick Lucas was the past uh, park board director. He has resigned and they have hired a new park board director. His name is Eric Reynolds. Okay. Do we have to make any motion to accept that or that's all done through the park board? Um, He'll be treated as a contractor. He won't be an employee. 
Who's he? What, what account is he paid out of? Out of He's paid out the park one. No, that's there. They can make a contract. Jack, I got a quick legal question for you. If he's a, a contractor, this is going to sound stupid, and he doesn't have taxes coming out, he doesn't have anything to do with, does he have to buy an occupational license? Yes. Did we get, did Army Jack have uh, gotten this, answered this question, but because he works for the school and draws from KERS, and then if we pay him, is that something that we need to look into? Yeah. I, I didn't. I don't know who he is, so I didn't know yeah, that. He's a, I believe he's an employee of the school. Yeah, he's a janitor down the school, a maintenance man. Does CERS and KERS kind of go together? We usually, if you're already in one of them and you take a job, and that company is also in one, you have to pay. <coughs> right, but but he's contract it's, employee. It's, it's a contractor. I don't know who you are. Uh, yeah, so we didn't We've got to call into. CERS to ask that question. Ken, Ken, you was at the meeting last night. I, I, did they say, and if I did, I apologize, I didn't hear it. When that, that uh, Eric's going to take this over? Is he going to take it over immediately? Is it going to be June 1? Or I, And I don't know. And I, just, I don't know either. There was a lot of discussion on it back and forth, and I yeah. think they still have to talk to him about it to see I, if he really that's wants what it. I, that's what I thought, and I just want to yeah. make sure. <clears throat> you have anything else? First row, Lola Preen, Member Gifford. I don't have anything completed at this time. Economic Development, Member Hurt. Uh, nothing at this time. <coughs> Anybody on the council have any petitions they'd like to hail? I yeah. do. Yeah. No, you go ahead. Um, there's two, and this might not work for them, but there are two people on Fourth Street, Mike and Brenda Harden, who are both handicapped. They do not own the house. They rent the house. They've been there for 18 years. They do not have off-street parking. Is there any kind of, I'm asking in their behalf, is there any kind of provision because of their longevity that would give them a possible, they have trouble parking and they're both, then they can both prove medical reason? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, from, I don't know. from my position, George, <coughs> no, 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 yeah. yeah, the ordinance, <coughs> there, there, there's nothing in the ordinance that <coughs> would allow that, okay. uh, would, would even allow for. Uh, discretion on the part of the city administrator or council to provide that. Of course, uh, ordinances can be amended. All right. Can I have a couple questions? Uh, I think the trees on the Street are fantastic. Uh, they put the trees down there and they mulch it. I think it looks great. But on that sidewalk, I don't know if anybody goes down the fountain, on that sidewalk you have a space about two foot by six foot where the sidewalk is gone and they just put mulch over it. I think if we're gonna if that's gonna be your gateway, take that mulch out there and finish that sidewalk. It's just just looks really tacky. So if we can get public works to look into that. And um, Michael, I want to commend you once again on the fantastic job you have with the sanitation bill. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Saved the city about $30,000. Could you work your magic again? Uh, when I drive around these streets and sidewalks, I see a lot of metal plates. When they dug this street up and dug that street up. Uh, there's one in front of my church, and there's one the next door to my church on the sidewalk they dug up. It just looks tacky. And we, I, we need to do something about it. Well, I'll, I'll, get, I'll get with Rick. I know he's, he's worked with... Uh, Paving companies and, and, and that's the sanitation fine. district. That's we'll definitely that. Yeah, I had contact you, and that the plates are moving, and it's it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's going to be a. Uh, and I, I will say, um, uh, one of our residents had mentioned it to me, and I asked Rick to call, mm -hmm. and the water company had forgotten that they had all the plates out there. So it may just take a call. They had forgotten it was there. Yeah. And, and last but not least, that's not your fault, Jimmy, but if we're going to film these things. Tomorrow, within a week, we ought to have this council meeting on the public access channel or on the school channel. You don't. We. It's. We're still showing marches. It's a council meeting. That's just ridiculous. And now we blame it on the school. We blame it. I don't care who we blame it on. We just need to. You know, if if you see it, let's get this thing fixed. And a person on 10th Street asked that we put this yellow line from six up. Uh, partly up urban terrace so that the people would hit the plate, the light would change so they could get out on this there. 
without that line, they said it's horrible. We're not hitting that plate, so the light stand spread for long periods of time. What happens is there's a park, a car that parks real close to the plate, mm -hmm. and you have to go by the plate, and if you don't hit it, you could be yeah. sitting there forever. Yeah. You don't get the plate notes and lines that are in the blacktop, the salt cut lines. But we'll look at it. Anything else from council? Oh, yeah. One more thing, Ken, Ken, and if you can pass it on to Rick. Uh, 10th Street between Walnut, uh, Thornton and Walnut. I know that street was blacktop just a couple, two, three years ago. It is buckled. It's coming up. And I don't know if it's water damage up the hill or water, there's a water problem underneath there, but it it really looks bad. So, Michael, if you could pass it on. You probably add that to the list. Too. Okay, that's fine. Uh, 10th Street between Thornton and Walnut. Thank you. At this time, would anybody from the audience like to address council? Mr. Burr? Yes, sir. That net down there, it's called. Uh -huh. How come you people moved it down the street instead of back up the street? And I don't know when you set them pipes, you must have been in the middle of the night. I, Mr. Bossman, I'm just supposed to be protecting my property. And, and I agree we'll get on there and hit ball from the left field fence over the fence toward my farm. I agree with you, Mr. Clausen. And last well, night, I'm sure we should do something about it. You're in a position to do it. At last night, you're in her boat. You're I'm not any part of the park. You're not on the park floor? No, I am not, sir. I've not been for years. <coughs> at last night's meeting, Rick Lucas uh, and uh, Tom Schwartz gave a report about that. They are in the process of getting a new net put up. Is it going to extend it further up that way? I, I don't know how high it's going to go, sir, but they gave a report last night. I'll get with Rick and and, uh, and uh, Tom and find out when it's going up and how high it's going up, and I'll come down and talk to you. Well, I'm sure Okay. It's no going problem. to be the same height as what's there now, and they talked about 135 feet. <coughs> 130 feet, 135 feet. It's going to be the same height that is that it is now, and it's going to be about 130 feet long. Yes. 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 <clears throat> anybody else on anybody else in the audience? Yes, sir. Uh, my main reason for coming to the council meeting tonight was to thank everybody for opening up the uh, fifth and uh, Fallon exit again, and I'm hoping and praying that you can keep it open for safety's sake. Uh, okay. Do what you can. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Just an observation. I don't have an answer to the question. If Fifth Street, in fact, does end up being closed off or shut off, <coughs> how does that impact the ability of safety vehicles, a particularly fire department equipment, from being able to maneuver at a closed dead end street? When we had our meeting down there, the, the fire department was all the fire department and the police department were also invited. They came down. They didn't see an option. They didn't see a problem. <coughs> Enough for us to move our yeah. now, I, now, I can't right say right when this is up and running with only one way in, and you get 4,000 cars, whatever the number was, right. point of issue. That's, we feel that in the every day, but yeah, we'll, we make every option. Yeah. All the meetings that we had down there, we, we've invited both the fire department and the police department to participate. And secondarily, I'm sure that it's probably on the list for uh, being addressed, I hope. The 200 block of 5th is You've got some, uh, I'm going to call it a sinkhole at least, and it is awful for the left or uh, driver's side, you know, uh, bubble joints in your car if you want to keep them. And it's in four separate spots. Yeah. Well, always where the left side of the car goes. So well, if that well, part yeah. of the street can be addressed, it would be much appreciated by those who use it. Yeah. We were aware of it breaking out and down there. <coughs> that's one of the things that we put into the report. The damn eagles, I didn't bring that up yet. Anybody else on the council? Or, I'm sorry, everybody else in the audience? Has the trash, the, the trash agreement is up this year? Oh, shut June, up. June, you know, we talked a little bit about that at the finance oh, meeting yeah. today, and we're going to entertain oh, the the, uh, the option of getting some different proposals from different people. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> okay. Uh, for as far as unfinished business, I'd like to remind everybody that the Eagles has a festival on May the 10th. I guess they'll be cutting down part of the of Barry. Yeah, Barry will be closed between 5th and 6th. Uh, it's going to run 2 to 12. Music will be from 7 to midnight. 
There'll be kids games, adult games, um, beverages of all types, um, and um, all organizations within the city have been invited to set up a booth. Um, so I know baseball, football, uh, several of the different groups from the school are all setting up, um, and it's no cost if you if you do crafts and you want to come down and set up a booth, just let us know. What's Saturday. Saturday. This, this Saturday, May the 10th. Mm -hmm. Museum will be open Saturday. Okay. 10th and 2. And also, we're going to be open for a Memorial Day parade. Mm hmm. All right. Anyone else have any concerns? You might have any new business they'd like to bring up right now? Yeah. Yes, I do. Say a few words about myself. Uh, this is my last uh, my last meeting. I'm resigning from city council or retiring on whatever fits. Uh, I've been on here like 25, 26 years. And 20 years in the police department. I think it's about time to hang it up. Uh, I want to thank. Uh, a lot of my friends in Dayton that kept me in office all these years, I don't, I don't see anybody ever breaking that record, coupled with my family. I have a lot of, a lot of family that's backed me all the way. Elmer's one of them over there. I don't know if he'll, uh, maybe, maybe or not. But anyway, uh, I just want to thank everybody. Uh, I noticed that the candidates tonight, there's some good, good, candidates that's going to be running for council. Uh, having said that, uh, I know one that I recommend to council to put in my seat, and that's, that would be uh, Denny Lynn sitting back there in the third row, uh, if they see fit to do that. He's fire chief for 30-some years, I believe. I, I don't remember. I knew he was a rookie fireman. If anybody would be good in this seat, it would be him. And uh, I'd like council to uh, consider him for the next meeting, I guess, in June. That's all I have. Bob, uh, can I ask, is that official today? What, what date? This, this is my last meeting. Okay. We can make it today. Can you, can you just put it in writing real quickly so we have some yeah, I, for the record? I, not, not tonight. Yeah, I'll give, it, I'll give it to Donna. <coughs> Probably tomorrow. I'll never write it and I'll sign it. Bobby, I thank you for your service. Thank you, All right. As a friend and a council member. Right. Thank you. Thank you very much. With that being said, we'll have an opening. Typically what we do is accept resumes, I would hope, to decide who we're going to replace on council for the remaining period of, the, of, the, uh, of Mr. Allen's term. The reason I ask about the date is because council has 30 days to, uh, to make the replacement, otherwise the governor gets the uh, <coughs> So it, uh, that would be uh, June. That it has to be done by Jim. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, we need to make a motion to go to executive session for property, lease agreements. For deliberations on the future acquisition or sale of real property by the city as publicity is likely to affect the value thereof pursuant to KRS 61-810-1-B. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. 